Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here bringing you guys some more NHL 19 news. A new trailer has been released by EA uh, going over the collision physics and the RPM tech that is involved with this year's title. So we are going to be watching the trailer, going over it, and also looking at the article that EA released about the new physics engine. So let's see if we can hit 300 likes on this news video. I know we can do it, so go ahead, hit that like button, show that love and support, and subscribe and join the Dorsal family if you guys feel ever so kind. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer. Everybody's in play. Once the puck drops, everybody's getting hit. Oof. Nice. When you take a, an athlete like P.K. Subban, right here to have a highlight reel such as his was great I like for the, inspiration the, for the, the team. throwing of the shoulder 80 percent of hitting is timing understanding if the player sees you coming if he knows where you're coming from how to position your body to make a clean body check there's so many things that go into it everything that we did sort of represented what we we're seeing in the modern day nhl when you really see that point of contact like a shoulder driving through the chest of a player and with the unique tensions on each limb you really see those flush contacts and you see that player get separated from the puck how prepared they are determines whether it's just slight incidental contact all the way to big crushing hit hit checks yes all right very excited about that so i'm glad hip checks are back that is something that i am very excited about and also these hits do look a lot different than the ones in nhl 18 that might just be me but they definitely showed like every hit did look different in the trailer that was shown so that is something that i'm very excited about but let's go ahead and learn a little bit more about it and check out the article that ea put out all right so let's go over the article that ea put out so collisions in this year's game are more realistic impactful and fun because of the new physics system that they implemented and hits react to speed angles and skater physicality which brings you an experience that looks better with new animations and feels even better thanks to responsive controls. I'm very happy about that because, you know, a lot of the hits just seemed very unrealistic last year, which we saw a lot in my Failure Friday series, if you guys have seen that. And, um, yeah, I'm very glad that there's going to be, you know, a more variety of hits. So that is very good. Power like PK, take control with authentic hits that send shockwaves across the rake commanding the physical side of the game with new thrown hit animations unique limb tensions and sensitive awareness of angles and speed nhl 19 collision physics provide a variety of impacts that recreates the electrified style of players like pk suban again very cool very nice to see you know big hits still in the game and also some more realistic hits that don't exactly you know shock the the ice if you know what i mean like that doesn't just like get everyone off their feet you know i'm still glad that there's going to be you know more realistic hits and also big hits but hopefully they don't happen too often because i feel like they did in nhl 18 so what i like to see is that it's all in the timing the goal of redesigning collision physics was twofold bring players an experience that looks better and a game that responds in ways you'd expect again and last year, a lot of games just did not seem very realistic. No matter how far away for, you were from a player, if a guy had high, you know, checking, it was going to be a big hit, you know, even if he was like right next to him. So I'm glad that uh, I'm hoping that that, you know, means a lot. So, you know, in addition to a player's size, strength and hitting skill, collision physics will require you to think about details like angle, speed and positioning when deciding whether to commit a check or not and what i also like is you can also you know stop or start instantly and skate towards the opponent and decide to make the hit or not which is pretty cool i'm glad that you can do that because i got out of position a lot very easily when playing nhl 18 when deciding to go for a hit or not so that's pretty awesome i'm really happy about that but either way you'll be able to decide exactly how you collide with your opponent which i think is very cool and the results are more accurate than ever before in this year's game also what i like is that no two hits are the same if you do catch your opponent with a collision then you'll notice thrown hit animations that look more realistic and impactful and impact directional movement how you throw a check is changed by the speed and angle of the collision 
that's awesome. I really like that. So no matter what angle or direction you're coming from, it looks like they're going to be different, which is very cool. Because again, last year, Hit's animations were pretty much the same. So I'm very interested to see how it works this year. And limbs, muscles, and joints now absorb force in ways you'd expect as big collisions cause skaters to fold up like they would in real life. Again, pretty cool. You'll also want to be aware of the relative angles between players involved in a collision, as this has an impact on force distribution and the resulting hit animation. So, I'm really looking forward to this. This is going to be very fun to hit players in this game, because it'll be more realistic. And uh, catching your opponent square to the center of their body will produce a much different collision than simply catching a piece of their shoulder, as angle, speed, physical tension, and thrown hit animations all work together to produce limitless variation, variations in hitting. So, last part is don't fall behind. Stamina plays a big role in hitting this year too, which is cool. So as endurance affects your ability to absorb a check, when your skater's stamina is low late in a shift, avoid collisions at all costs. So it looks like that could even result in injuries, which is going to be big for those who play franchise mode. While responsive controls allow you to change direction instantly, they also burn more stamina, which can be countered by avoiding sudden stops or starts when unnecessary. Keeping track of your skater stamina will help you make strategic decisions, such as utilizing a poke check to conserve energy as you attempt to disrupt the play. So make sure you have endurance in mind as you enjoy the endless number of unique hits available with NHL 19 collision physics. I'm, I'm very excited about this. It might not seem like a very big feature, but it's definitely something to look forward to because there were a lot of unrealistic hits in NHL 18. We saw that in my Failure Friday series. I got a lot of hits that guys would just slide across the rink. Um, guys would go flying after a hit. You know, like when I played my franchise mode, I would like just the way I hit guys was completely unrealistic. They'd go flying and that's not realistic. Usually when you hit a guy, they kind of don't go anywhere. You know what I mean? But these guys would go sailing across the rink. So I'm really looking forward to this. I, I really think it's going to be fun. And I'm glad they brought hip checks back. So that's going to be a lot of fun to work with. But all in all, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Uh, hopefully, I will have more NHL 19 news coming soon. So be on the lookout. Stay tuned for the channel or with the channel. Also, be sure to enable notifications if you guys want to be in the loop for when uh, I upload some more news or just videos in general. But that is going to do it. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. And thank you all for watching. Peace.